So it's been a few weeks since I made a video update. Um, so this is just uh, an update video on my 98 Mustang Cobra Pro Charger build. Okay, so on the last video, basically was finishing up the 60 pound injector install and putting in the new plug wires. So since the last video, I've put in a new set of plugs, uh, put in a colder range of plugs uh, to run with the Pro Charger. Um, Put in some new Ford Racing 9mm plug wires, put in some new coil packs, uh, what else? Put, put in the 60 pound injectors, got the whole front end back together now, got the suspension all in there, everything's all set in there. So now we're actually on to the Pro Charger install and that's what I started on last weekend. So I've just been getting ready. Uh, getting the car ready to mount the blower. It's going to mount right there in front of the uh, alternator on that stud and there's going to be some more studs up top. So I'm just in the process of mounting the, the Pro Charger. So Pro Charger gives you a nice little insulation guide when you buy a Pro Charger kit. So I'm actually on page number seven. So I've done all this. So now I'm on this step right here, the Pro Charger head unit step. This is where I'm gonna, this is where you actually mount the Pro Charger onto the, the motor and put the belt on there and all that. Uh, once we complete that, we'll get on to the uh, intercooler install. So the kit comes with a three core intercooler. So after I get the Pro Charger mounted, we'll get on to that. And then after the intercooler is installed, I actually went ahead and I paid uh, some extra money and I bought a bigger fuel pump, that, you know, much bigger than the one they give you with the Pro Charger kit. The Pro Charger kit they give you like a 255, I think, fuel pump, and plus they give you maybe it's a 235, and then they give you something called an FMU, a fuel management unit, which basically is kind of a ghetto way of increasing your fuel pressure so I decided to go the right way and do a custom fuel system with bigger injectors and a bigger fuel pump so I'm gonna skip this step all together here so all I have to do is basically just drop in a fuel pump when I'm done with a Pro Charger install and I'll be done with that so I guess I'll make another update once I get the blower mounted here and uh, just keep you in the loop of as this process goes along alright so we've got the Pro Charger unit mounted. We've got the uh, new coolant reservoir or coolant manifold installed. Um, and we've got the Pro Charger mounted. So this was kind of a pain in the ass. It was really tight in there. Had to kind of push, cram these AC lines over here. Going to do some something else with that here soon. But I've got the the head unit mounted, so I think we're we're good. So I think I'm going to call it call it quits for tonight and tomorrow um, I will carry on with mounting the coil pack in its new location and um, starting the intercooler install um, I also have to buy a new piece of radiator hose because the one that Pro Charger gave me to run from here to here um, doesn't really work so they gave me this piece here and it just doesn't really quite fit that great so I'm gonna have to buy a piece of flexible radiator hose to do that but other than that we're off to a good start and I think um, tomorrow I will handle the intercooler so I'll update you in another video with that